Today I will show you how to download ebooks from the library for your Barnes & Noble Nook. To begin, you will need your computer connected to the internet, your Nook with the USB cable provided with it, the Adobe Digital Edition software installed on your computer, and your library card and PIN or password. To start, you go to the Overdrive website, which is how the library provides ebooks for your e readers, and you will find that at the website digital.minlib.net. Once at the website, you can scroll down, and at the bottom of the left hand column, you will find a link to the software that you need to install Adobe Digital Editions. You will click on the link to get Adobe Digital Editions and it will open up a new page in your browser for Adobe Digital Editions website. If you scroll down a little bit you'll find the install button and just making sure that you wanted to install it they ask you again and last time for the yes. You can accept all the defaults and click Next and Install. And depending upon your internet connection speed, it occurs pretty fast. Once you hit Close, it opens up Adobe Digital Editions. The Setup Assistant will ask you to authorize your computer, which you will need to do in order to download books from the library. And as you can see up here, if you don't already have an Adobe ID, you can just click on this link to get an Adobe ID online. Uh, it's a free process uh, and you can deselect uh, all the email newsletters that they try to subscribe to uh, you to so that you won't be getting any junk email from them. Once you receive that Adobe Digital ID, you can type it in and once you have that typed in, you can click on activate and that's now finished. The next thing that you'll do is you'll have your Barnes & Noble Nook and you will take the USB cable and with Adobe Digital Editions plug your Nook in and you will see that Nook pop up on the left hand side here in Adobe Digital Editions but you'll also see that they have a device setup assistant that pops up. So we have to do that as well so we're going to click on Authorize Device and it's now authorized that device so we can click Finished and we're all set there. So now the next process or next step in the process is to download a book from Overdrive. So we'll go back into our web browser. We can close this page for Adobe and we're now back in the Minuteman Overdrive website. To begin downloading an ebook for your Nook, you should first sign in to your account on Overdrive. Signing in is the same library card number and PIN that you use when requesting a book through the regular Minuteman catalog. So we'll sign in. And the reason why we sign in is because the library purchases copies of ebooks specifically for Wellesley residents that only Wellesley residents can have access to. Uh, so doing this allows you to see more books that are available than you would see if you weren't logged in. Uh, so when we begin we see that we have the digital media account. Uh, in here we have several different options such as my cart uh, which is akin to using a cart when you're shopping online it's where you put your items into uh, until you decide to check out uh, lending periods which you can set a default for lending periods of ebooks 
and audiobooks. My checked out items, these would be all the items that you had checked out currently, so if a download did not go correctly, uh, you could go into that and choose a item uh, to re-download. Uh, my requests, uh, this would be if you had placed a hold on an item, you'd be able to uh, manage it there. Say if you didn't need it anymore, you'd be able to cancel that request. So to begin searching for an ebook for your Nook, we're going to go into the advanced search on the left hand column. And this advanced search allows us to choose among formats. And this is important because you'll see there's a delineation between ebooks and audiobooks. And even between ebooks, there's Adobe ebooks and Kindle ebooks. What we're interested in are the Adobe ebooks. So we'll select the first ebook uh, option and we could type in here into our keyword uh, keyword search of an author's name uh, portions of the title if we're interested as well uh, and last but not least we can choose to only show titles with copies available by clicking here so I'm just going to do a browse so we'll select the Adobe ebook to only show titles available and we'll search and this uh, result will be 648 uh, titles that we would be able to download to our Nook. Now when we're looking at this we see that we have a listing of the books here. Uh, so the different titles, 10 Easter Egg Hunters, 100 Cupboards, 1105 Yakima Street. Uh, the most important part of this is that uh, we can choose to add to cart but what we choose to add to the cart is important because we're looking for a Nook uh, ebook. We're not going to select this Kindle book. Instead we're going to choose the Adobe book and so we'd want to choose add to cart from there. So we'll go ahead and do that. We see that uh, we could add more. We could continue browsing or we could proceed to checkout. If we hit proceed to checkout it's going to give us the option to change the lending period. So say I don't think the 10 Easter Egg Hunters is really going to be a book that it would take me three weeks to read so I'll choose seven days for that and I'll confirm my checkout. And from here it takes us to the uh, final step on overdrive of clicking download. At this point it's going to open up uh, this uh, box so it says open with and you'll see Adobe Digital Editions has already been selected for us. If it hasn't, if you don't see Adobe Digital Editions here you can drop this down, choose other and direct windows to use Adobe Digital Editions to open up your ebook. And we'll click on OK it downloads the ebook. We now have that in our Adobe Digital Editions software. So we see we've got the wonderful 10 Easter Egg Hunters uh, ready to go and we're ready to read that. Now this is in reading view. Uh, this is no longer in the library view for Adobe Digital Editions. We'll notice on the left hand side here we no longer have that Nook listed and all of the different libraries that we have within Adobe Digital Editions. And that's because we're in the view where we can read the book. If we wanted to see our Nook so we could transfer this ebook to our Nook, we'll click in the upper left hand corner here, go to library view, and now again we see uh, our Nook listed and we have all of our items. Uh, that is the book that we've just downloaded. So we can drag it down to our Nook and drop it. It's copied that to our Nook and we could now eject the Nook and begin reading our book about Easter egg hunters. Now after we've done this uh, you can return the book early. Say it only took you 10 minutes instead of 7 days to read 10 Easter egg hunters and you want to return it early so you can take it off of your account. The uh, upper left hand corner of this book there's a little carrot and you can drop that down and choose return borrowed item. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to return this book 
and it is now gone. It's still on our Nook, uh, but all we'd have to do is go back into our Nook, and we can drop this down and delete it. We'll see that it's actually got this kind of uh, error message up on that. It's because it senses that we've already returned that book, uh, so it's now no longer uh, checked out to our account, so we can delete that. And that is, in a nutshell, downloading ebooks for your Nook. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, feel free to call the reference desk at 781 235 1610, extension 1117.